But this is not really the point of this episode. But look behind me, it's amazing! Ciao everybody, it's me Andrea and I am still in Croatia. Well, now I am in camping, yeah, and as far as you know, I can be everywhere. Yeah, but believe me, I am in Croatia, yeah. <laughs> If you want to see our adventures in Croatia, I advise you to look for episode 23. Yeah, episode 23. It's all about Croatia, but don't forget to subscribe because next episode will be in Slovenia. Yeah. Anyway, it's time to follow the scripts and talk about the gear. Jerry, when we prepare our bags, our camera bags, we ask ourselves the same question. Will I use this particular tool in this journey, but through experiences I discovered that the right question is what do I want to photograph in this trip? Landscape, seascape, portrait, macro and so on. For instance, personally I want to come back with some good landscape images and travel portrait too and blogging too. So, here's my goal, and on these I decided what to bring with me. Okay, let's begin. First of all, I brought with me my fellow XT2, a lightweight camera and perfect for travel. And looking as an old reflex, analogic reflex, goes unnoticed. Great thing, yeah, really. And a PSC sensor that for me is the perfect balance between bulky and quality. About the lenses, I decided to come with my 50 to 140 f2.8 and with this, the 16 to 55 2.82. Really great lenses that cover all my needs. 16 to 55 is a perfect all around lens. It's really wide enough for 90% of the time and good for isolating subject and for portrait too. But this, this is a beast, yeah, <laughs> the 50 to 140. Really good quality. Yeah, I love this lens. Maybe it's the best lens I ever had. But this time I decided to bring with me this, the 35 1.4, because I decided to take really great travel and portrait images and this is the perfect lens and light enough to let me decide to take it anyway. <laughs> yes. I have a set of filters for my lenses. All my lens have a UV filters on it but I have also a ND1000, yeah 10 stops, a ND8 three stops and in the end this one the polarizer really good to avoid reflections on water on the surface of the water I use this ND1000 to very very long exposure and the other one the ND8 for vlogging but also for lighter long exposure yeah it's quite good quite good. It's a Gobi ND8. I really good. love Gobi because when you buy something from, from them they put on the ground three trees. So very good. Strong. Good Gobi. Then I have an headlight to splendid night photography but for saving my life uh, coming back from sunset session too, yes. I have two rain covers, backpack rain covers, and one for the cameras. Yeah, this one. Probably I never use it in Croatia. Croatia is not really a rainy region. So this is not really useful now, but in Slovenia they are crucial. Then I have these two extension tube for macro photography. I don't know really if I use them, but they are really lightweight. So then I have this Manfrotto Pixie, really useful for ground level photography and vlogging too. Yes. 
And for steels, I use this. Ah, my Manfrotto 55, 055, yeah, 055. Really great, great tripod. It's a bit bulky and a bit heavy, really. But it stabilizes really well the wind and the micro vibration. So it's really, really good tripod. And I use this one, a ZT quick release ball head with the Arca Swiss attack. Yeah. It's really a cheap piece of equipment, <laughs> but it's well built, so I'm quite satisfied. I, <clears throat> I generally don't like tripods, yeah. And if you want to know something more about my thoughts on tripods, I advise you to look for episode 20. Then I have here my kit for lenses, liquid, pump, brush and I have, I had two towels, but I don't know where they are, maybe inside, <laughs> yeah, but I have two towels. <laughs> one of these with one end is really hard, yeah, I don't know if you can see, and then I have maybe, I don't know, one, two, three, four, Four SD cards, yes. <laughs> Additional SD cards because I have two on each of my camera. And for photography stuff, maybe we are finished. Yeah, we finished. For vlogging, I decided to go for my great Fujifilm X-H1. Really great camera, solid and well built. And having the eyepiece is really a good vlogging camera. The only thing is not tilting, have no tilting L LCD. So this is quite annoying for your film. Yeah. But it's really a good camera. And about lenses. For vlogging I use this 10 to 24 F4. Really a good a good good lens. Yeah. It's small enough and have a good stabilization, so perfect combo for vlogging. Another great feature of Fujifilm cameras is that you can use a single battery for all your cameras. It's really amazing. I really don't like brands that create specific accessories for each of their cameras. <coughs> Sony, <coughs> Canon, <coughs> um, what? And I use a uh, Rode Video Mic Pro, Video Mic Pro, Video Mic Pro, yeah, I don't know. Uh, a really good microphone from Rode. I'm still using now, recording this video. <laughs> and when it's really windy, I use this one, the Rode Smart Love Plus, Smart Lavalier Plus. A really good microphone, yeah, and tiny, really tiny. And I have another bag that contains my possible computer and a hard disk because I do a backup every single evening. Yeah. <laughs> and contain two but no three body chargers for my cameras and my phone charger, a lot of battery yes. <laughs> and uh, maybe two LED lights, two big LED lights. And I think that's all. Yeah, that's all folks. So thank you for following this video and if you like it I would be immensely grateful if you sign up to my channel and click the like button too. Yeah, very important. <laughs> Don't forget to follow me because next episode will be all in Slovenia. So great! But until then, bye!